This is Ivy Unleashed, a Gold Ivy production. Welcome back to Ivy Unleashed. Happy month of love. We love love. Yes, we do. We're so happy you're here. We love you. And we hope you love today's episode. We thought about what helps us as small business owners, and it's your love. And so we want to talk about what really helps fuel us, how we feel love, give some shout outs to some pretty important people in our life that allow us to do what we do. Mm -hmm. And overall, just get, express some gratitude for yeah. life. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's important as you're learning in business what drives you, like everything in the world, it comes back to love, right? You're, you're loving what you do. The people that you love are helping support you, like you said. And we don't want that to go unnoticed. And we've learned a lot of things in this process that we want to share mm -hmm. that we know just are really easy and that helps. But first, let's get caught up. Okay, you are leaving to go to Hawaii. Mm. I mean, by this time airs, you're going to be back. Sorry, but you are leaving tomorrow to go to Maui. How are we feeling? Maloha. I'm staring out at snow. It's weird. I'm like morning coming home already, and I haven't even gone. I'm morning leaving, and I don't even know what I'm about to experience. Just so you know, it's aloha, not maloha. No, I think that means something too. Does it? Yeah. Hop off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on, let me go. Maloha. I swear it means something. Mahalo? Mahalo. Yeah. What's mahalo mean? Um to express gratitude. Mahalo, <gasps> everybody. Oh my god, it's perfect. It's perfect. Mahalo. I am mahaloing about Hawaii. Uh yes, my boyfriend's mom and stepfather are so generous to Take us with them. Six of us, family vacay. We come back. What are you going to do? following Sunday. We're going to luau. We're going to soak up some sun. We're going to soak up some sun. <laughs> I'm I'm Casper over here. So <laughs> it's time. <laughs> it is time. Um, yeah, I've never been. I've only heard really great things. And we've been working really, really hard. And so I'm excited to cozy up on a beach chair with a good book and get my creative juices going. Mm -hmm. That's what rest does for the soul. I can smell Hawaii right now. There's just, what does it smell like? It smells like flowers and it's like, oh, I can't even explain it. I'm so excited for you to experience it. It's, there's nothing like it that I've experienced and you get to see rainbows, which is like my favorite thing. I told Brooke, she needs to take a picture of every single rainbow she sees, which she's going to see like 25. <laughs> but I think, like you said, it's time to kind of unplug and relax, get those creative juices. So if any social media feels stressful, just don't just take it in, be yeah. present. Y'all have seen Hawaii. You know what it looks like. I haven't, so I'm going to take it in. <laughs> You're going to feel like Moana, like Moana walking down the beach looking at the just beautiful uh, landscapes. Yeah, I am real pumped. And you're going to be doing the opposite of relaxing. You're going to be running a marathon in Alabama. Mm -hmm. So how are you feeling about that? This is the least amount of training I've ever done for a marathon. So I'm a little nervous about that. I also know how important like mental toughness is. If I take a flight away from my children and I paid money for a marathon, I will be crossing that finish line no matter how ugly it may look. <laughs> I, um, you never know though. Like sometimes I just, I feel awesome even though I haven't trained great mm -hmm. and sometimes I don't. So we'll see. I'm going with my mom. And it's been a minute. Last time she came on a trip with me, I ran my fastest marathon mm. in Michigan. Joe Mama might be some good luck. You know, we'll see. I told her last time, I was like, if you see me before 320, I am a mother beast. <laughs> I am a beast if you see me before that. And she did. I crossed the finish line at 314. So insane. You never know. What are you hoping to get out of this experience? I think just some quality time with my mom. Hmm. It's been a while since her and I have had one-on-one -on -one time. Whenever she comes here, she's coming to also see my kids. Whenever I'm going to Wisconsin where she lives, I'm trying to see 74 people. So uh, I'm excited to like be on an airplane with her and then just have another medal. Mm -hmm. Check. I've never been to Alabama, so checking it out. Get some Waffle House. Like when I drove to Florida, that was my biggest takeaway was 
just Waffle Houses all over (laughs) in Alabama. It won't be as warm as Hawaii. It's going to be like 60s, 70s, but I'm okay with that compared to this winter wonderland we've been in. So Yeah, we're in a snowstorm. So this is state number 24. I hope to come back with a medal. Yeah, so one of us will have a medal. One of us will have a tan. (laughs) I mean, you'll probably have a little bit of a tan too. Maybe. We'll We'll see. see. Hopefully. Yeah. And since Brooke is going to be gone for a bit and then I'm going to be gone back to back, we have been recording like wild. We, this week, this is our fourth episode we've recorded in a row. So I have a lot of editing to do and so does our editor, Jeremy. Shout out. We love you. Thank you for all that you do for us. Uh, But we want to just let you know that February is going to be lit. (laughs) It literally is. Yes. Uh, January has been amazing we launched season three and the feedback we're getting uh, where we feel on fire and I'm sick of hearing myself talk because this is the fourth episode (laughs) episode but it has been a very busy week but full of things that light us up and the guests that we have recorded with for February oh my goodness y'all Dr. Jack we talk about intimacy she's an intimacy coach and a licensed therapist we talked last night we had the honor of speaking with Gabrielle Stone who wrote Eat Pray FML oh her story is incredible she took a a trip to Europe after finding out her husband cheated on her then she falls in love and then he dumps her 48 hours before she's going to get on the flight so a amazing story and her healing journey throughout it is really what she dives in with us about and then we recorded with Andrew's old college roommate, Lindsay Roberts, Mm -hmm. who we love. She's hilarious. And she just went through a divorce, but she doesn't say that word. Mm -hmm. And she, the way her and her ex-husband are handling it is incredible. Mm -hmm. She worked with our coach, Catherine, and has a completely different perspective. Uh, She's never been happier. It's all about taking back your happiness, really. Mm -hmm. Owning that piece of your life and your story. And then we're also recording on how we feel love, our love languages, a different spin on love languages. Yeah. So keep tuning in. February is going to be an unbelievable month. And let us know your feedback. You know, that is one way that we've really learned. It's so important, not just for the algorithm, right? Like your reviews drive our business. It really helps. And so when we say that, It's because this is what we want to do for a very long time. And if you just take a minute, it really, really helps us. We can't even put in words how much those reviews are. And I know it's annoying to hear it. Nobody likes being told what to do. But it's like if if you are getting value from what we're doing, it's the tiniest little thing. Like we spend hours to provide this service. If you could just like write a sentence like, favorite podcast ever, like that alone. And click a button for five stars. Yes, it helps so much. But then also your words are powerful. So like if you did want to write a detailed review or shoot us a message, like we have uh, a guest that was on episode 85, Jolene Law. She listens every week and gives us feedback, whether she liked the episode or not. And it's really important. Like we haven't known Jolene forever, but she's regularly tuning in and we're getting closer with her knowing like what speaks to her and what doesn't. You know, she's kind of like our ideal listener Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. she's like in our age group and a woman and that is kind of the gist of who's tuning in here and so to hear her feedback yeah and who she wants to learn from you know this is what our mission is about is providing you access to people who have been through some pretty tough things have an incredible story they're sharing what helped them heal what they're doing to take care of themselves and we're getting access to some pretty cool people and we want to know who you want us to speak to. You know, who would you value hearing from? Because ultimately at the end of the day, this is for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And my best friend, Britt, that lives in Japan currently, she does a great job of sending us ideas of guests. You know, our list is a million miles long, but we plan on airing two episodes a week as as much as we can. Mm -hmm. And so we'll take them. If you have suggestions on people that have helped you or you've read their book or they seem intriguing, you've been following them on social media or you heard about them and you just want us to take a peek at them, we would love for you to share, Mm -hmm. you know, and... The chances, uh, the chance of us reaching out to them is pretty high. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, we are pouring love into you and we want to know what you 
love, <laughs> right? Like at the end of the day, this, like I said, this is for you. And this is our way of showing love and giving and feeling fulfilled. We are talking to some incredible people and we're taking some amazing courses and leveling up in personal and business. And to be able to sit at this table twice a week now and share what we're learning is a privilege that we don't take lightly. So we really want to make it known how you can help us help you, how you can pour into us so we can love on you even more. And that's with writing your reviews. It's with sharing. Word of mouth is so powerful. And so the people who aren't writing reviews but are sharing with their friends know that we see you, we love you, and we appreciate you. And both Andrew and I are love languages, which we'll get more into, but are words of affirmation, right? Like as we're pouring our hearts into this podcast, into serving you, obviously it's important for us to fill up our cup and words of affirmation is one of those. So things like sharing that you're proud of us, like that's what Alicia, my cousin-in-law, Andrew's sister-in-law, every week she listens, she shares her feedback, but most importantly, it's that acknowledgement of, wow, you guys are working hard and you're producing some high quality things and I'm so proud of you. And that means the world. So to anyone who said anything positive these last going on three years, thank you. It fuels us big time. Mm -hmm. And I think our parents do a wonderful job too of providing us the love and expressing how proud they are, what they love, listening to episodes, whether it's my mom commenting on TikTok or your mom on Facebook, like they're very active in helping us get some social engagement, but my also mama, my mom likes to light up YouTube. <laughs> Yes, she does. I don't think my dad goes on anything but move, which is sweet. Um, Justin's dad, my dad, and mom are all movers. So they're on there doing some workouts, trying to figure out technology. And we appreciate that. And I think, too, when you launch something, like move has been a dream of mine to have a really close friend like Britt Williams be like, I want to be the first mm -hmm. person to do this. You know, like that means so much because until you start a business, I feel like there must be something that's like annoying. Like if you've never started a business and you're like, oh, they started a business. Now I'll have to buy all the stuff. And you're like annoyed. Like you don't want to go to like the beauty county beauty counter party because then you have to spend money. Like there must be something that like irritates people that don't own a business. But then once you do, you're like, Oh my God, this is so easy. I could just like give a like or a comment or say, I want to be the first person, you know, because it shows it's not just about money, right? Mm -mm. It's about showing, showing your, up, showing up and showing your friend like, Oh my God, you're taking initiative on something you're passionate about. Can you imagine if we all did that? And then your closest friend was like, I'm, this is awesome. I, mm -hmm. how can I support you? Mm -hmm. And so I think that's something that I'm learning is I wish I would have like, and I don't have a ton of friends that have their own businesses, but I wish I would have been like, okay, wow. You know, obviously not my passion. It's clearly yours. Let me understand. How can I support mm -hmm. you in that? What could be mm -hmm. something I, I've done? And some of my friends like in my neighborhood have said like, how can we support you? And I'm like, if you see a reel or a TikTok or a post, just click the like button. Like if you don't feel like commenting, you don't want people seeing what you wrote. If you see it and you're my friend, just hit the heart. That's all. Because if they all did it, we would be going viral all the time. <laughs> it only takes like 20 people to like something right when you post it. And then it can. It's the, it's the algorithm, right? Yeah. It understands, ooh, people want to see this. People are liking this. We'll feed it out more. And yeah, to your point, it's free. You know, we think. I think we don't think to just ask how we can support because it is so simple. And what we care about is that you're just showing that you care. Like we don't need you to spend money. You are providing value by clicking a button, by taking four seconds to quick write a sentence. You know, I think it's things that people probably just don't think about unless they do have a small business to your point. Yeah. And it is new. Like as much as social media has been around for a bit, it's pretty new to know why these things are important, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, to know that having a following can help you get commercials on your podcast. Right. And so these numbers, as much as like, we try not to obsess over them and those things, like it does matter as far as being able to have an independent business mm -hmm. that you can pour even more into. And so who doesn't want to 
be on fire about something and have it be their only job. Mm -hmm. You know, right now it's not our only jobs. So that's why we're sharing, you know, if, if this is something that brings a lot of value to your life, you clicking a like button can help us get bigger guests, Mm -hmm. you know, can help us to keep doing this, to help us keep our fire going. So we don't burn out right by not having to have so much on our plate. Yeah. I think it's important, right? We're celebrating like for me right now with my age group, it's, proposals and it's babies and it's new jobs and it's graduations and like let's also celebrate people going after their dreams like my friends Nat and Ellie are constantly liking and Megan commenting on TikTok like it's those little things that maybe it's just them being really good friends and they don't even think about it but I'm saying right now like I see you and I love you and it's those small things that do make such a difference so if you're listening right now you have a friend who has a small business and maybe you haven't been supporting them just start liking. They will notice. They will see. Just start, you know, oh, I saw you posted that. That's awesome. Like, it. They don't need a lot. Mm-hmm. We just need a little love. Yeah. And also, we see that you saw it. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, we, are, we know you're looking. We know you're watching. We could see when you see the real. Like, it's not a, it's not a secret that you saw it. So, it's almost like, why, what? Don't follow me then. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, if you don't like- kind of painful. It is like, if you don't, yeah. If you are a friend though, and you don't like what we're sharing- Are we friends? Then don't follow. Like, we can still be friends, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. But I mean, some people are really specific about who they give their likes out to, right? Like, if someone posts a video, and yes, they support their business as a whole, but they don't like the video, they'll be, I'm not liking that. Oh, that's a, my sister-in-law, Christine, is like that. She, she like, does not like being told what to do. And she's like, I am- She's very particular. If she reshares something, it is like life changing (laughs) for her. And I love her so much because she's so honest. She's been on the podcast too. She was episode number 40. Yeah, 40. And uh, an incredible episode on infertility if you have not listened to Christine. And she's hilarious. But anyway, she will say things like, I don't listen to every episode because I'm not listening to it if it doesn't speak to me. And I'm like, good. Like this is about finding something that can help you or Mm -hmm. where you're at in your stage in your life. Like flip through the hundreds of podcast episodes we have now. But she is so good at letting us know what she does love. Yes. You know, like we don't need you to listen to every episode, comment on every post, but a few here and there would be beautiful. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. She, um, she, it's not only that though, she'll like message us too. If she's like, Hey, I've been getting up. I don't know what's gotten into me, but I've been getting up and getting on the treadmill Mm -hmm. and I feel good. So it's like, I think for her and I feel like for a lot of people, it wants to feel, you want to feel authentic Mm -hmm. when you're commenting on something or you're writing a review. And that makes total sense. Like we're not telling you to do something that you're uncomfortable with. It's just, if you see it, just use your fingertip (laughs) and hit the heart. Yeah. And if you're If you are participating in, you know, whether it's listening to the podcast or moving with us, letting us know what you think. Like Brittany Strike, she is one of our most engaged movers, I would say, and is constantly letting us know, okay, workout, check, upper body, check. Like even if it's just for accountability, she's still sharing with us that she's doing it. And that's what we love to see. And it's a way we can support you, right? Right. Because when you, you know, you pay for our services and you're, you know, you're getting the benefits, but you are putting in the effort, Mm -hmm, right? mm -hmm. And hands down, one of the most powerful things you can have in this process is is accountability. And it's something we offer. It's something we are, we would love those DMs. And we do with Brittany Strike when she says, hey, I followed the plan this week. I feel awesome. I feel so much better than I felt two weeks ago when I was super sore, you know? And so it's a way for her to feel more connected to who's providing these workouts for her to give input on what she likes, what she needs. So to keep her motivation going. Mm -hmm. Another way we're really trying to grow our business is through partnerships and through the quality of our podcast. So we have, I mentioned Jeremy earlier, but we have Alan Stein Jr.'s brother, Jeremy Stein, as our editor for our podcast. And uh, I've mentioned him a few times in the story, but he has a podcast of his own called Main Street Magic, where he talks about Disney World. And it's really cool. Him and his wife, every month for the last seven years have gone to a Disney park, like not necessarily Disney world, but whatever, you know, they have like animal kingdom and universal studios and all the things. And so 
he has over 500 episodes and it's just this really genuinely sweet guy. And so Jeremy, just want to give you a shout out that we appreciate that you're on our team. This is a dream to kind of start building a team that with people that we can pour love into, mm-hmm. we can celebrate their birthdays. We can have a four day work week. We can go on vacation together. We can give them gifts and it's been really cool to build a relationship with him yeah and like you said too partnerships with brands you know we're having a lot of brands reach out to us and it it's a lot we're managing a lot of moving parts like Andrew said earlier we still have full-time jobs and so to bring on one of our good friends Sarah Bosman to help us manage it all and to be communicating with brands on our behalf has been so helpful and we have loved working with her and like you said pouring into it that's like gifts are how we love showing people that we love them. And so gifting on birthdays and just making them feel how special and appreciated they truly are. Yeah. Cause I mean, Sarah, you're helping us build the life that we, we want to have. And we are so excited that you're a part of it and that we're going to get to do all kinds of fun stuff together. So we love you. So shout out to our little growing team, Jeremy and Sarah, and also our greatest teammates other than each other. Yes. Our significant others. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I can't even, I can't, I cannot even talk about this without crying. Um, Justin has supported everything that we've done. And I don't actually think that you can go after your dream when you're in a committed relationship, unless that person is not only supportive, but encouraging that will sacrifice for you when you need time, space, energy, you're having a hard time, you need strategy, you need someone to help you with technology, (laughs) you need, we've needed so many things. Uh, Brooke and I record in my home, and so my kids and Justin will take five snacks, go hide (laughs) up in our bedroom or go in our basement or leave and go to a movie or go out to dinner, and it's not always the most convenient times, and he never complains. You know, he's always like, just let me know when you're done. He has sat in our driveway waiting to come into the house. Like he's taking calls in the car. And so there's a million things I could bring up that Justin's done. But babe, I love you. Shout out. Thank you for helping my dreams come true and never saying no to any of our wild requests that we have. (laughs) And helping us with technology, being our manager, husband, cousin, all of the things Mm -hmm. And I think between us for my boyfriend, Ian, like we're all chasing our own dreams and supporting each other, which I think is super cool because we started Gold Ivy and then Ian went after his dream and is now working for an NFL agency and Justin has his own company. And so I think there's something really beautiful about doing it together, but supporting each other in their own thing. Right. Like we have a lot of talents, I feel like, between us four. Like Ian's our tax guy. And for me, he's my emotional support. And when he's up late at, at night with calls, like I can't get really get mad because I know that he's patient with me when that happens with me. And I'm sure on vacation, we're both going to be working. We complain about things together, we push each other through things. And there's just this sense of like, you can do it. I I believe in you and I'm proud of you and the little notes and all the things that it's more about just who you are as a person. I think, I think we found complete gems and we are so grateful for them. Couldn't do it without them. So shout out to our two rocks. Mm -hmm. Love you. So just a little over two years into our business, we want, we want you to know what's helpful. We want to want you all to know that we appreciate you. We want you to know that if you aren't pursuing your passions, that it is worth it and that it's a learning experience. And we're here to share what has helped us feel loved in the process, how challenging it can be, how rewarding it can be, and how, you know, if you're a true friend to someone or a partner, that your support is crucial in chasing your dreams. So whether it's checking in with your friends that are doing it, or it's checking in with yourself to do it, 
that make sure you have that good support system and let them know what you need in order Mm -hmm. to chase your dreams. Yeah, I think life is all about relationships. And when you can support those that you're in a relationship with, your relationship is only going to get better. I think Ian and I's relationship continues to grow. You and Justin's relationship continues to grow. All of our friends, our family, like as we're pouring into ourselves, chasing our dreams, we are hopefully, and I feel like we are bettering those that are in contact with us. And that's something that we want to continue to do. And so know if that's you with a friend that has a business or maybe you have the business, ask what they need, voice what you need. Life is too short to not be living your dream. And it takes support from everyone to make it happen. So we see you, we love you, we appreciate you, and we can do what we do because of you. Beautiful. All right. Now it's time for our three gold stars. Number one, support your friend's dreams in any way that you can. Yes. And number two, pour into your people, whether that's asking what they need, how are they doing, communicate with them, regularly check in with them. And number three, if you are not pursuing your passion, start writing, start thinking about what your passion is and how you can start to pursue your own dreams. And our piece of gold comes from one of our favorites, Jen Sincero. She says, coming together with kick-ass people, sharing your resources, your ideas, your connections, your know-how, your enthusiasm, and your snacks can take you all much further and way faster than if you're working on your own. This is Gold Ivy signing off. Listen to your truth and go chase your gold. (laughs) 